If you've been following along, you know it's incredibly important to make sure you have a bank of evergreen content on your YouTube channel for the days when you're sick, when you suddenly have to travel, when there's an emergency and you don't have the ability to create new content, you will have that bank of evergreen content that you've already done that you can pull out and use as your release without messing up your algorithm system. But I have a pro tip for you if you have that bank of content ready to go so that you don't lose it. Because we know when you upload something to YouTube, unless you schedule it, it is going to stay wherever it is within the lineup of the videos that are coming out. Meaning if you create something two weeks ago and now you need to use it, you have to scroll back and hope you find it or hope you remember that name. If you created content six months ago and it's just waiting for you to have a rainy day to need it and you have to then go back and find it, remember what it was, that can cause a lot of stress and a lot of time commitment to find that content. So here is a little tip for you and this is actually actually a two-parter. Now, the first thing is if you have your video scheduled, it stays up at the top of your page. So an easy way that you can do this that might require a little bit of work if you get up to that point is to schedule that video for very far in advance. Last Christmas, I missed putting out one of my Christmas short videos. So I had it scheduled months in advance to go out the next December. And so I had that just sitting at the top of my page for many, many months until it went out at Christmas time. You can do the same thing. So you can schedule a year in advance. You can schedule it months in advance and it will sit at the top. If you have things that are sitting at the top, they will just be at the top and they might clutter up your vision as you're trying to go and see what you're doing this week or next week. So you have that option. That's an easy option. But when you come up to that date, if you forget to change it, it could go out or it can just be something that you have to continually bump until you're ready to use it. So another thing that you can be doing aside from scheduling it, if you just wanna leave it unlisted on your page is to put a keyword in the title. And that is going to be something that you easily remember. It can be something very, very short, something like later or a word that you're not going to typically use. If later is a word that you use inside of some of your videos, how to schedule something later on TikTok. Maybe that's not the word for you. So maybe you want to make up a nonsense word. Maybe you want to make up the word that doesn't have anything to do with anything you're going to be talking about. Maybe you want to use a word like orange or maybe you want to use the color yellow. Perhaps you want to use airplane, something that just has nothing to do with any title you're ever going to put there. And you're always going to put that at the beginning of your title. Now, if your title is really long, copy and paste that title into the caption so that you can just go in and copy and paste the title and put it back up where it belongs. This way, anytime anything is tagged with the word orange or airplane, you can just go into your search tab and type in that keyword, that trigger word that's going to take you to your bank of content, and then you can just tweak it. You just remove that keyword from the title before you post it. And again, if your title was long and you had to copy and paste it into the body of your text and then move it back up, make sure you do that. But it's an easy way to go back and find things so that you don't have to constantly be searching through and scrolling through and hoping that you remember and hoping that you don't miss things. I know for me as a content creator, I would constantly be putting up content that I would save for later. And as I was scrolling through it, I would just randomly find things that I didn't realize were not live. And so every once in a while, I would find a piece of content from a year ago, from two years ago that I was then able to put out simply because it got missed. So if you have those keywords, the target words, the trigger word, whatever it happens to be, you can more easily find those things when you need them. And that means if you're sick, if you're having an emergency, if you are traveling, if something comes up and you can't create that content, you have to rely on that bank of evergreen content. You're not wasting your time trying to find it. So if you have it ready to go, you've got your your caption all filled out, you've got your thumbnail ready and made, you just don't have it scheduled, then with that trigger word, you are able to then go in, remove the trigger word and post that piece of content in just a few seconds. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to stress about it. And if you know something is coming up, you can then use that content. Now we talk a lot about how to make evergreen content, how to cycle through your evergreen content so that it's not sitting there for three years waiting for you to put it out. But there are ways that you can be implementing this into your strategy to save yourself a lot of headaches later on. So make sure you follow along with the playlist, watch all those videos. And if you've got questions, now is the time to drop those as we continue to help you navigate the world of YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, live streaming, the tools and resources you need to make this your most profitable year ever without the stress and the overwhelm and the time commitment to make your business the most strategic it can be so you have luxury time inside of your life so you can live your best life while also living out those entrepreneurial dreams. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.